Hey everyone, it's Tracking Pat here again, and this time we're going to discuss a different part that we're going to teach how to use the AGE to figure it out. Now you'll notice when you look at this print that I've got some angled lines. I've got multiple arcs that are all tangent to one another, a minimum amount of information that I need on here, and also some really bad skills at whoever drove where all the numbers come from. And so uh, we're going to also show how the Prototrack RX can help you with that stuff as well, okay? Now, um, I did want to mention that, uh, you know, if you haven't uh, subscribed to our channel yet, it may be a good idea to do that sometime soon because then you can follow one segment after another and go on YouTube and get them all in a row. You do kind of need to look at the first segment of this in order to understand how I describe the geometry itself. But we're going to get right into the programming, okay? Zero, zero on this piece part is going to be right here. And I've already got that in my first event, so I'm just going to swipe forward. And all I have is a standard milling event at first, so I'm going to go to a milling event. My X is going to stay at zero, and my Y dimension is 0.88. I'm going to have an OK right away and just swipe forward, all right? My next milling event is not tangent to the first. Again, one milling event can't be tangent to another. There has to be an arc involved, okay? My X dimension is not on my print, so I'm going to use the guess button, and I'm just going to shrink my screen a little bit and move it over so i got a little room here, okay? So I'm just going to touch here push enter, and then it says, what else can you tell me? There's a Conrad on here of a half an inch. I'm gonna put that in there, but I don't know the length of the line. And I do know the line angle, but it's pointing straight at zero, and because both Y dimensions are already in here, the X axis is actually gonna get it correct. Actually, let me take one step backwards. Sometimes when you use guess on both dimensions, you'll actually get them both filled in and you only need one, so I just went back to change that. So I'm going to swipe forward and I've got another milling event. This milling event is also not tangent and my X and Y numbers don't, are, they're not on the print. Now according to the rules, if you really understand AGE, it can figure out a tangency whether you guess or not. But I think for simplicity using the prototrack, it's a little easier if you do. So I'm just going to guess and say it's somewhere about up there, push enter my guess. And then it says, what else can you tell me about this? And you'll notice on this print that there's a 70 degree angle and it's showing you from zero being here, if I swing up forward in positive degrees, it's 70 degrees. So that would go in the last question here. And then I would move on. You see it's starting to draw, right? So now my next thing it's asking me is for um, an arc. So I select arc, it says, is it tangent? And it says, yes it is. So I turn that button on, hit the set key. It's a clockwise arc. And again, I don't know where it ends, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the guess feature and touch about where it ends and push enter. But then what it really needs to know is where the center of that arc is. And you'll see on this print that they didn't do a very good job of getting me to the center of that arc. So I'm gonna use the calculator. And once I pull the calculator up, I'm just gonna move it over here a little bit to make it easier to reach. And I'm gonna put in the number. So I got 5.25. Sorry about that, 5.23, right? Plus 2.23, 2.324 equals, right? And now I gotta subtract the top number, so I'm gonna go minus 2.167. By now I'd usually be looking for who drew this print, by the way, okay? And there's my actual answer I'm looking for, so I'm just gonna hit the abset key and it's gonna put it in there. I've kinda got the same kind of a thing here, with where the actual number is for the Y dimension, right? So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take the 0.82 plus the 1.777 equals abset. It puts that in there and I'm done with the calculator, okay? Now there's no Conrad in here, but it can tell at the radius size and the radius it says right here is 0 0.38, all right? You'll see it's trying to draw, but it doesn't know everything. You got some solid lines, so we're in the right direction. I'm going to swipe forward. I've got another arc. Now in this arc, I'm going to show you a little bit more power. This arc is tangent not only to the arc I just did, but also the one coming up. So I'm going to say it's tangent here, and I'm going to tell it what I know. It's counterclockwise, so I need to change this. I can use the drop-down menu and go to counterclockwise like so. All right, my X and Y end are at the other side. I don't know them, so I'm going to go to guess. Touch somewhere around where they're at, hit the enter key. Notice I don't have to be that precise, okay? The center of the arc is not even on the print, so I could use the guess button. I'm just gonna leave them blank, and I'm gonna tell it the only other thing I know, which is the radius of the arc, which is 2.045.
Okay, I don't know how many uh, degrees of arc there is, so I'm going to swipe forward. I've got a third arc here. It's also tangent. Okay, hit the set key. This one is clockwise. Again, I don't know my ending points, so I'm going to use my guess button. Touch about where I think it is. Enter that guess position, and it says, okay, can you give me the centers of this one? This time they're on the print, 5.23. And you'll see that the Y dimension is also on the print at 0.82. Okay, and the last thing it needs to know is the size of the arc, which is 0.38. Okay, notice that it's starting to really come to the way it's supposed to be. I've got one more piece here before I get to solid information. As I've described before, whenever I get to solid information, it should all show up and say okay. So I've got a tangency of this line to the previous arc. My X ends at the dimension of 5.23 minus 908. So I'm gonna to go to my calculator again, and I'm gonna put that in there. Five, whoops, that's wrong. 5.23, whoops, minus 0 0.908 equals, that doesn't look right, does it? One more time, so let me see here. I must have hit a wrong number, 5.23, minus 0.908. That looks right. Abset, close that. Okay, my Y ends at zero. You notice right there the geometry looks correct. And the last piece of geometry is very simple. I've got a milling event. It's not tangent. It goes back to zero. The Y stays at ink set, and there's my completed part. So as you can tell, there's different ways to use AGE, and it's all going to come down to what the person who drew it gives you. Now you're going to have examples like this where they actually don't give you uh, all the information from one zero. So the calculator also comes in very handy. In the next one, I'm going to show you a different type of part with different information. Thanks for watching. Howdy y'all, it's Tracking Pat from Track Machine Tools here with my lovely wife Wanda, both wanting to thank you for watching all of our videos. As always, we really like it when you give us the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, just push this button right here. If you'd like to watch the next video in the queue, of course, hit the one over here. Before we take off to go to the honky tonk, we just want to remind you as always to keep on tracking. Yeehaw!